All right, so we as people um, know from a very young age, uh, it may be the age that we start school or, 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 or start activities or whatever, but we know from a very young age, and we know this as people in general, um, that we are not exactly the most nicest and gentlest of creatures. Um, we will pick on one another. We will try to eat one another. Um, we will try to compete with one another and we will face off with one another um, in all different kinds of settings. Uh, in my opinion, now I've talked about how you I can kind of go at any level and any level means any level, right? Like wherever you want to take it, however you want to take it, we can do it that way and we can see how that works So, um, Kind of to now, yeah, well, kind of, it's not to legitimize being in the top 10%, but kind of talking a bit more about what it means. Um, the top 10% is like, pretty much, it's kind of like the food chain, but it's a little bit, a little bit more complex than that. It is like the food chain, but there's a lot of aspects to it. And how I just talked about all kinds of levels, being the top 10% is like taking in consideration all kinds of levels. And the thing is that we as human beings, we're very competitive and we rate each other a lot um, from day to day and year to year and whatnot. And reputation is big to us as well. We, we, we are a bit, we are kind of like animals on this planet as well. Um, and there's no such thing as, oh, we're all equal. We're all the same. We're all this value. We're all that value. Everyone has the same thing. Um, that is an unpopular idea when it comes to human beings. Uh, we like beating out each other. We like the survival of the fittest concept. We like, the, I mean, when they made cities, what did they call it in the urban time? They called it uh, the concrete jungle, right? It's a jungle, it's just concrete. It's not really, uh, the nature of us doesn't change, whether we're in a village town or, or a, in the in the nowhere or in a or in a big city or in a small city it doesn't really matter um and it's not I, I i'm not gonna break it down that would be really stupid but just think about any level i mean um physically mentally um uh, characteristically reputation wise connections life uh, um, I, I wouldn't call it life experience because you can have a shitload of life, life experience and, and be zilch so you know personality, um, attributes, strengths, um, a, a lot of stuff is taken, into, even your success and everything is taken into consideration, how strong you are in all these different ways. Um, and basically, that's what the elite people are made of, uh, which basically means that in any setting, there is a top 10% or most of the time, not always, but most of the time, there is a top 10%. Um, a top 10% is like, no matter where you go, you can go to Vancouver, Montreal, Toronto, Hong Kong, doesn't matter where you go, but there is a top 10%, you know, and typically a top 10% will not fear a lower being. It's like a shark fearing a tuna. It doesn't make any sense. Oh, but that tuna so large. I don't know. A guppy standing face to face with a shark. I mean, what's really trying, what's really going on? A, a family of guppies. Uh, it's just a better meal for the shark. He's just going to eat all of them. Um, he's going to get nourishment from them. So, yeah. Anyways, the concept has been in, in a lot of organizations. I'm not going to go into detail, but a lot of organizations. And I, name any organization that's kind of like, you know, within their industry or business, the, the organization to be, they will have an upper echelon. They will have, and, and, and some of them literally have a top, they'll have a top, 20 top 30 or, or a top whatever and they will have levels uh, and they will be listed and uh, there's a whole bunch of different terminology uh but this top one percent two percent five percent ten percent stuff is the real deal um anyways that's it